Yo guys, what's going on? It's Speddy. In today's video, we're going to go over five of the best and funnest builds to use for PvP. So that's for Outpost Rush, Open World PvP, and for Wars. So if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I would highly appreciate it. So let's go over our first build. So the first weapon combo we're going to talk about, of course, is the 300 Strength, Great Axe, and Warhammer build. I'm going to go over this briefly because I have done videos about this in the past. So if you want to see them, then they'll be linked in the description down below or at the top of your screen. So for the Great Axe, our main abilities will be using our Charge, Maelstrom, and Gravity Well. And the main combo that we want to do with this is throw a Gravity Well. However many people you've got caught in it, you'd want to dodge into them and perform a Maelstrom. And then depending on how much health they've got left, you can either light attack them down the rest of the way, or you can use a Heavy Attack into a Charge, and that will sort them out. Next we have the Warhammer. This is the build I'm currently using for the Warhammer. Again, you can work around this if you want, but this works best for me. It might not work best for you. I use Sundering Shockwave. Wrecking Ball and Path of Destiny. So the next weapon combo I'm going to go over is a very fun one to use for Outpress Rush and very annoying to play against. And it is a 300 or more depending on how much constitution you want. Light Armor, Sword and Shield Warhammer build. And of course we'll use the same build um, as for the Warhammer as the Great Axe. Um, and for the Sword and Shield, this is a build we're going to be running with because we're going to be doing DPS and this isn't for tanking. You can change some stuff around if you'd like, but this seems to work for me. And the abilities we are going to use are Shield Bash, Reverse Stab, and Leaping Strike. And the combo that we're going to be using for this is straightforward if you understand it, but it does take some time to, to get to know it. So basically, depending on how far away from your target you are, you'll use a Leaping Strike if you're not within melee distance. And then into a Shield Bash for the stun. You will then get your Warhammer out, do a Shockwave. Roll around them for the reverse stab in their back for more critical damage. And normally they'll be very close to death or normally dead. And there's not one thing they can do about it. They can't dodge out of it because they will be stunned. It is very annoying to play against and it does deal a, a lot of damage. So this build is very good for Outpost Rush. It's very annoying to play against. If you manage to hit every single one of your abilities, especially at the start of your stun, that is the initial part. If you miss a shield bash, um, you need to basically wait for your cooldown and start it again. But if you hit your, your shield bash, they are stunned. If you hit every single one of your next abilities, they are pretty much dead. So the third weapon combo we're going to go over is a very good mage DPS build with full intelligence, depending on how much constitution you want. And it's for the fire staff and ice gauntlet. And this build is very, very viable and has high damage output in every single PvP mode in game. So open world PvP, outpost rush and in wars. And to start off with, we'll go over the fire staff. So the main abilities we're going to be taking are... Burnout for the quick getaway if your health gets low. We're also going to take Fireball. And we're also going to take Pillar of Fire. This is a very high hitting DPS build for the Fire Staff. You can rack up some really good damage numbers in Wars as well to help your team out as much as possible. And onto the Ice Gauntlet. These are the main abilities we're going to be running with. We're going to be running with Entombed. Ice Shower which is incredibly overpowered at the moment, everyone is running this ability in every form of PvP in game, it's incredibly annoying to play against and incredibly helpful for your team. And also Ice Storm. So this build is very very viable in Outpost Rush and in Wars, especially with Ice Shower. I think my high score that the amount of people have got trapped in one Ice Shower currently is 6, let me know if you've managed to beat that. So the next weapon combo and build I like to talk about is a full dex light armor build for the spear and rapier. It is very fun to use an outpost rush and more of a serious build for wars where you'll basically be hunting down the healers. Um, the main abilities we're going to be running with are Volt Kick, Skewer and Perforate. If you can hit each of the three attacks with Perforate you'll gain triple rend on them so make, it'll make the healers a lot more easy to kill. You've also got Skewer that is kind of a gap closer if they try running off and it'll also uh, inflict a bleed. And you've also got Volt Kick for the stun. So basically how this combo will work is that you'll work from left to right on your ability bar. You can change them around, it's up to personal preference, but this seems to work best for me. And this build just become a lot more powerful after the new update. They've now added an armor perk called Shirking Energy, where it's basically if a hit is avoided by dodging while in a light armor load, gain 29 stamina. So it's very useful to have that perk on a bit of gear just for this whole setup, because you'll be dodging and rolling around a lot. Avoiding people that um, are trying to kill you from attacking their healers. Um, so on to the rapier now. Now for the rapier, we've decided to go for the great half of the skill tree. So the main abilities we're going to be running with are flesh, evade, 
in repose. Now this will grant you the most survivability. And basically how this works is that if you get trapped in a gravity well or an ice shower, you will use the evade to get out of the route. If you're still getting attacked, you can use a repost. Um, or you can use a flesh to get away. So it, it, it's up to you what one you want to use after your evade, but you would want to use your evade first. And on to the last weapon combo and build. We have a light armored 300 strength melee DPS build for the great axe and hatchet. This build is very useful for Outpost Rush and in wars for the survivability it has on the hatchet. So to start off with, we'll go over the great axe again. Um, same as always, charge, maelstrom, gravity well. And then onto the hatchet, we'll take the left hand side of the skill tree. So we'll take the berserker skill tree. The main abilities are raging torrent, berserk, and feral rush. We'll take feral rush because if you if someone's running away from you and you use it, you will root them in place if you land both hits uh, with this last one. So you will immobilize the target for two seconds. Obviously, raging torrent for the quick attacks it can do for quite a lot of damage depending on what build the uh, the targets in. And obviously Berserk for the increased damage. But lastly, the most important perk we need to take is the Fire Death. So basically, when you drop to 50 health, um, you will gain immortality for 3 seconds. So even though you're still getting attacked, your health will remain at 50. Unless obviously you're getting heals from teammates or your health's increasing with your, your buffs you have on. Um, so that you've got 3 seconds. As soon as that hits, you've got 3 seconds to basically get away. There's no point staying in there because you probably will die if you've already got to 50 health. This is basically your last stand and your getaway. So that'll do it for this video. I know I've probably missed a lot of other really good PvP builds out, so I'm just going to throw some honorable mentions onto the table. Firstly, we have a light armor healer setup with a Rapion life staff. We've also got a heavy mage DPS with the ice gauntlet void gauntlet. We've also got a light armor dex build with the bow and spear. Let me know in the comments down below what build you're currently using for PvP. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have an amazing day.